Hey everyone, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me once again. I'm Karina. Welcome to the new subscribers. And I have done myself with, with this product, the Kula Tan Mousse, Sunless Tan Express Sculpting Mousse. And it comes with, with a um, glove that in the back you know it's exfoliating so first you exfoliate then you apply with this it's the easiest tanning system i ever experienced it's no messy at all so highly highly recommend you put it on it's very moisturizing and you know you leave it on to develop overnight it's not sticky or anything like that and then you wake up in the morning and I mean it's not tremendous color but it's a very nice color it's not orange I really like it then for my face and decollete I have used this uh, Sisley tanning lotion what is it called uh, self tanning hydrating facial skin care okay which I've had for a while um, this is a non SPF product but it's very very light and it's very moisturizing and um, yeah for face and decollete it's really nice okay well I'm going to do a look today with some new products um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do except there's going to be something really a little bit out there I have this product from Ink Cosmetics and it is it's like a cream gloss product in this kind of electric cobalt blue I'm going to use you can use or usually apply these products with fingers okay I have this particular it's not a brush it's an applicator I guess with a silicone top this is from Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty, should I say. So I'm going to try and see if this works. And I think it works fantastically well. So I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. And you have to work kind of quickly with this product because it sets. Once it sets, that's it. So first eye and I went pretty much all over the eyelid area so electric blue eyes really love this it's very hot today so I'm gonna use this primer all over my skin this is from milk makeup and it's like a primer water now I keep it in the fridge you don't have to keep it in the fridge but when you are going to use it and you're applying it like I am now and it's in the fridge oh it's just so so lovely okay I'm gonna do a little bit of my complexion and I'm going to use cover effects is this contouring palette this is Contour Kit Light Medium in G, okay? And this is a really, it comes with an instruction here, which you can use. I will reference, I will use these two sponges to apply. Uh, but you can use also some sort of, um, sorry, some sort of brush especially for the smaller sections. I'm gonna follow these, these particular instructions. So we're gonna use the top one here to illuminate. So right here and three strokes here I'm not going to use really a base I just had that primer also that famous triangle of light here very much 
a la Kim Kardashian. Then with this sponge, this painted sponge, I want to go for the really dark one, which is number four. And I'm going to do that here. And at the moment, we're just placing, okay? We're not blending. Just, you know, if you go like that, underneath here, your cheekbone. Not in your cheekbone, but underneath. Oh, what else? What else? I'm going to do a little here. And... With the not so dark number three, <clears throat> I'm gonna go here on my jaw. And maybe here. And also on the sides of my nose with a real point thing point the end here in the sponge well now that we look like wall paint we can blend and I'm gonna start here with the contouring Down on the neck. Now here for the Kardashian look. And we're going to leave the nose last. And you're going to go from the sides up. Slowly but surely. I have this pencil crayon by Adopt. It's in a darker kind of color. So I'm going to do some pinpoint concealing here. And use this is a sample of Cledepo, the Cledepo concealers. Um, the sample has actually lasted nicely, so uh, because it is kind of a summer look, you can probably wear this to the beach as well. Uh, we're gonna need something that really holds its weight in in what it pertains to, you know, concealer and this clay the po once applied it just it doesn't budge so it's really good okay to finish with the contouring there is here a shimmery shade here this one sorry that one we're gonna apply on cupid's bow and also in the inner corner here of the eye Okay. And also, just with finger, that did a payoff. Uh, we can do here, top of the cheekbone, to have a little bit of that glow. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And I'm using this mascara, Lash Crown, by Max Facto, which is waterproof. 
and it has this this at the end that you can use to really emphasize the end tails of your lashes okay so top and bottom there for the lashes colored with the lash crown mascara we're gonna do some lash work here so i have the, i'm gonna use lashes at the top and the bottom yes i have this collection here from korea they're all bottom lashes i'm gonna use these ones here at the top for my bottoms so there's one over there the dry clear and the other okay so for the top lashes I'm going to use individuals these are from Eldora but I'm going to use kind of long individuals okay these are really long I don't know if you can tell and I'm going to use them pretty much at the ends So you just drop them and shape them the way you want them to go. All right, so very subtle on the top lashes, but you, they are there, okay? And the bottom lashes, yeah, not very easy to put on, I must admit, but they do make a difference. For eyebrows, I'm just going to brush them I'm not going to color them I mean let me rephrase that I am going to color them but more than anything what I'm going to use is this smash box which is brow tech brow tech highlight and this is in bronze what it is really oops it's a toner for the eyebrows Toner, gloss, shine, however you want to call it. More than a color, it's just a toner, like a gloss for, for your eyebrow. And that's all I'm going to use on eyebrows. I think the eyes are just a statement here. I'm going to use a little bit of this powder which is for under eyes, it's by Laura Mercier. Just to set here underneath the eyes. Because I, I find it a little shiny. Following this sort of beach color thing i'm going to use this kind of neony salmon pink pink sorry <laughs> this is from myx it's called tools um 04 i think it's discontinued straight from the bullet blot and i'm gonna apply again well, there, let my hair down. I'm just going to do a little touch of blush and I'm going to use this one by Sonia Riccio. This texture is lovely. It's hardly any color, but you know, just on the cheekbones to the actual cheekbone, actually, just for that hint of color. Uh, this is a line that Sonia Riccio used to have in Japan, which obviously now is discontinued. They were so good. The texture is just amazing. It's a cream. I find creams are really good for summer. That's pretty much the look. I'm going to show you a whole picture of the outfit so that you can see it, you know, with the bronze color goddess type of look be right back so here is the final look as i was telling you bright eyes 
the blue is really <laughs> unyielding and bronzed skin thank you to Kula very nice color not orange and sequin top and denim shorts very summery and i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching see you in the next one bye